Everybody, welcome back to the brand new video. Today we have the $260 boom box that we're bringing you. This is for the month of October. I've also got the mid end and the platinum boom box as well. Those are the $90 and $140 boxes. Those will likely be dropped on the channel. At least the video will be dropped on the channel probably like tomorrow or Friday. Originally, this box opening was not supposed to be until probably this weekend. But I got a notification that my optic cases are delayed because a, I guess a trailer broke down or something that was carrying them. I don't know. So uh, I was going to have optic new release for you today and also live stream tonight. And that is all now in limbo. So instead, we've got the Boombox Elite Baseball today. I also got the snapshots, uh, a new release in from Tops as well. Archives. I think they're archive snapshots. I'll have to double check. But we might have a double upload day for you. So make sure that you do hit that notification bell if you haven't already tap all so that whenever we post a new video or go live you'll get notified via the youtube app and also make sure you subscribe we'd love to have you guys aboard thank you so much everybody for your support now let's go ahead and see what you get in the 260 dollars october box the boom box elite so we start off here with a nice big jumbo pack wow 2016 Bowman Draft. Man, I, I don't think I've ever opened this before. You can see that Mickey Moniak and AJ Pook are on the front. I can't remember if this is the release that has uh, like Pete Alonso first, etc. in there. There might be some big, big names in there. That's, that's something that we need to look out for. Um, if anybody feels like it, you can drop the list of the top cards we can pull from 2016 Bowman Draft. I wasn't collecting them. The first baseball card video I ever did when I was getting back in the hobby, was 2017 Top Series 1. There's a Chrome Pack, a Bowman Chrome Pack from 2021. A very, very nice pack. We've got a Jumbo Pack of Tops Chrome from 2021. Another Chrome Pack. So two of those bad boys, which is pretty nice. We've got a Gypsy Queen Hobby Pack. We also have a 2017 Bowman Chrome Pack. So going back to the days of Cody Bellinger rookie cards and Aaron Judge and Tyler Glass now and Alex Bregman and all those guys. We have another Jumbo Pack. This is a Bowman Jumbo Pack. And there's a Topps Chrome Hobby Pack. So all together, eight packs, and some of them are really high-end. Uh, just go and check out what a box goes for a 2016 Bowman Draft. I bet it is extremely expensive. There's also a one-touch there. If we get to use that, I will be happy. By the way, I don't want to give a spoiler. Oh, well, I don't want to spoil it, but possibly the biggest hit that maybe I've pulled out of a boom box since I don't know when, coming up from one of those mid-end or platinum end boxes. So make sure you check that out. I was... Shocked, but anyway, here's the sell sheet in here. We've got um, the 2016 Bowman draft, which has three autos. The hit odds are one in four. Bowman uh, draft or chrome from 2017, one in six, one in four, one in 2.4. So, we're uh, I, I'm pretty confident we're going to get an autograph today, at least I hope so. There's all of their social media links, and here's the Vlad promo going on right now, which you could win a Vlad Jr. bat if you are so lucky to pull one of the winning tickets. In your box. So let's go ahead and start things out with the Gypsy Queen pack and see what we can find. Albert Pujols leads things off. Chris Bubich, rookie card. He had a nice season. There's Bellinger still trying to figure things out. The wild card game is tonight. Anybody watch the Yankees and Red Sox last night? How about Garrett Cole? Just didn't have it. And the Yankees season ends in the wild card game. That's going to make a lot of you Yankee haters very, very happy. And a lot of you, you know, Yankees fans very, very sad. We've got, oh, we've got an orange coming up. Let's see what it's going to be. It's an, oh man, it's an orange auto and it's a tiger. Please be Casey Mize. It's Brian Garcia. Not too bad still. I mean, I'll take an orange auto. Out of 25, and it's a rookie auto of Brian Garcia out of 25. So we are on the board with our autograph. I was hoping we get a couple. <clears throat> Usually they stock the Elite Box with uh, packs that have high hit odds, and there we go. We've got one on the board. It's nice that it is a parallel. Let's check out the Bowman pack right now and see what we can find. This is the Bowman Jumbo pack. There's Kirloff rookie card. Dylan Carlson, rookie card, is another decent one. Key Brian Hayes, rookie, yet another nice one. So three good rookies in there. And now we get to the middle where all the 
prospects will be. There's Jared Kelnick, Julio Rodriguez. Can't wait to see what those two can contribute for years to come. Cody Bellinger, pink out of 299, is a cool card. Here's our Chrome card, Shane Boz. That's a name to keep in mind, guys. He's only had two starts in the big leagues at the end of the season, but he was lights out, and we're probably going to see him in the playoffs doing his thing. Uh, might want to grab some Shane Boz first Bowmans if you haven't already. There's a nice Austin Hendricks speckle out of 299. I like that one a lot. Unfortunately, no autograph in this pack. Here's our first or our prospect papers. Alec Manoa is a nice one. And Francisco Alvarez is our final card in that pack. So not a bad pack. Not a super awesome pack. Kind of middle of the road. Let's go next to the Topps Chrome. It's a jumbo pack. Good hit odds here. I think it said one in every 2.4. Has an auto. We've got Joey Bart on the back. And let's see what we can find. So far, nothing crazy. And there's a nice Ronald Acuna Jr., Fernando Tatis, and a Joey Bart rookie card refractor. Nothing to write home about in there. But now I'm interested to check out these. Here's the Bowman Chrome. As you know, these come from the master box of Bowman Chrome from 2021, which went from $200 to $300 almost overnight. Lots of people um, just taking interest in this product, going after some of these new prospects. And I'm not sure what it goes for right now, but that was uh, as big a jump as I can remember since maybe last year's museum collection. I think that went up about $100 almost overnight as well. There's Casey Mize rookie card. Juan Soto numbered out of $4.99 refractor. And that's the best card in that pack, the Soto. Let's do the other pack. Then we'll save the uh, the two older packs for last. I'm interested to see what we can pull. If we can, maybe we'll pull one of these big name superstar rookies out of there. There's Cole Wilcox. Unfortunately, the hit odds of Bowman Chrome are 1-6, and six, and we did not hit. All right, so only one autograph on the board here going into the home stretch. Let's do the 2017 Bowman Chrome pack. Again, hit odds are 1-6. See a nice Albert Pujols on the back. Joshua Lowe leads things off. There's Desmond Lindsay. We've got a Luis Castillo top prospects card. Chris Sale, and there's the poo hole. So it comes down to this. This pack's going to have to uh, save us here. Otherwise, we will have gotten a, uh, I don't want to call it a dud box, but a bad box in terms of yield. Now, that happens sometimes. Uh, sometimes you buy a box. It's like buy, buying a lottery ticket, and you, you're not going to get, uh, like, for example, you might buy a Powerball ticket for 20 bucks and win, what, $2 back, $4 back, or nothing. Same kind of deal happens all the time when you're opening boxes or packs, and that's uh, what we're up against right now. I'll tell you this, though. We had a big win in the other boom box, which is coming up on the channel, either tomorrow or Friday. Let's see what we've got. Okay, 2016. So I, I think Alex Kirloff has a first in this. Uh, I think Pete Alonso may as well. Let's see what we've got. Looking for some of these big... I thought that was going to be Kirloff for a second when I saw the Twins logo. This is, Bo oh, very nice. Corbin Burns' first Bowman card. That is a good one, guys. I think he is going to win the Cy Young Award this year. It's going to be really close between him and Max Scherzer. That's an awesome card right there. Put him on your radar if you haven't picked up his rookie cards yet. Grab them while they're still affordable. There's Justin Dunn in his Mets uniform before the trade over to Seattle. James Caprillion in his Yankees uniform before going to the A's. Uh, so far, nothing too crazy. Corbin Burns has been the best card for my money in here. Uh, there's Heath Quinn, Ryan Cordell, Brett Phillips, Dakota Hudson first, Matt Thice first. And unfortunately, we did not really get too much in terms of value out of this box all in all. But it was fun to try. That's the Elite Boom Box. Again, it's a $260 box. Um... We've done it on the channel now since they started it. Its inception was a few months ago. And as you can see, they, they do put some higher impacts in there. I encourage you to check out what that 2016 Bowman Draft Jumbo Box goes for just to try to, you know, figure out uh, if it's worth it or not. I, I usually think the Boom Box is very, very good. It's just not every time you get a, a huge hit. And I do encourage you. Man, I'm looking at the card right now. I pulled out of the uh, one of the Boom Boxes from uh, the video that I already shot. I shot it yesterday just to try to get caught up so it could take a, a day off or two, but uh, make sure you check that one out because uh, we got a big hit coming up. So that'll do it for right now. I think I'm gonna film another video, maybe later, of the new release from the uh, Tops Online 
shop, which was, uh, I believe, Archive Snapshot. So that might be coming later. I'll try to track down a box of Optic. I'll head out to my LCS and see if they got theirs in. I hope they do. But if they don't, then we'll have our new release of Optic for you tomorrow or Friday. So have a great rest of your Wednesday, everybody. I hope to see you all later. Good night, everybody.